Now at 11, an aggressive assault on a pair of unpredictable wildfires. Crews in Lake County doing all they can to drive the flames away from homes, but warn the danger isn't over. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bassita. Right now, there are 17 major wildfires burning in the state of California. And tonight, the focus has shifted to Lake County, where the ranch and the river fires are threatening towns on the western edge of Clear Lake. Smoke over the area, heavy and unhealthy. Chopper 5 shows the huge thick clouds billowing up from both the burn areas. Here are the latest numbers from the river and ranch fires combined. More than 68,000 acres have burned since Friday. So far, 10 buildings have been destroyed, but there are 10,000 structures threatened, and each fire is just 5% contained. KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez is following the progress of the fire fight from Lake County. Joe? Liz, you can see the orange glow in the background. That's the river fire. It is true. These two fires have grown today, and there have been fresh evacuations. But it is also true that it appears that firefighters are making some progress. It is a dramatic scene. Flames leaping high into the air. Hundreds of firefighters on the ground setting backfires. Cal Fire aircraft dumping millions of gallons of water. The two fires that make up what officials are calling the Mendocino Complex have been growing, but they are mostly burning through unpopulated rural territory. That's why Lakeport is center stage in this drama. The entire town, with a population of about 5,000, was evacuated yesterday because flames were moving toward the community. That raging fire that threatened the town last night has diminished considerably. I'm standing on the southern edge near the city limits of Lakeport. You can see it right over here. Right now, it is free and clear of any fire. You can see there's a smoky haze hanging over the town. But as we look to the west across Highway 29, there's quite a bit of smoke in the hills. But it is not as active as we saw last night. This portion of the fire is much less active than what we saw 24 hours ago. But that doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. Cal Fire spokesman Paul Lowenthal points out this area near Lakeport is just one segment of two large fires. The river fire moved southward today and dangerously close to two more communities that then had to be evacuated, Kelseyville and Finley. So that means at least 100 evacuees who are already in shelters in Kelseyville had to evacuate yet again. But so far, Lakeport has been spared. It looks better right now than it looks it did when we left. Yes. Mike von Rosenberg evacuated from Lakeport. He's at the Lower Lake High School shelter, the outdoor portion. It looks a lot better. Like I said, it looks like they're getting a big time handle on it and everything. God bless those guys. You know, they're working hard. Maybe they'll get you home. I hope so. I'm, I'm ready to go home right now. Yes, we understand that people are eager to get back in, but we understand that we've got a lot of unburned fuels out in this area. We have a lot of uh, the potential for, for wind shifts, uh, and we definitely want to make sure it's going to hold before we allow people to come back home. The fire is a little bit further back from Lakeport than it was last night. So again, there's some progress being made here. But Liz, uh, you know what? There's been some erratic movement mm -hmm. uh, of the fire in different directions, and they're just not ready to lift those evacuation orders. All right, a lot can happen overnight as well. All right, Joe, thank you.